There we go. Hazel, thank you for taking care of everything. Oh, I, I can't believe you got my health plan to cover all this. Oh, you just need to know what to say to them, like their children's names and what they wore to school today. <laughs> oh, will you send Frank in? I want to see what they wrote to fill the fifth act. Or, since I'm here to help, maybe I could fill the time. I still know my rhythmic gymnastics routine. I was good until I hit puberty and the coaches said I got too pregnant. Are you kidding? I'm not going to put you on the show. <laughs> uh, Lemon, a word? Hey, guy! You can't just walk in here whenever you want. How can I help you? Uh, so, Lemon has an assistant. Excellent. Jack Donaghy to see Liz Lemon. A uh, Mr. Donaghy here for you. Get off this channel. This is a military frequency. Okay. You can go. So you got your surgery and the world hasn't ended. I think I can do this, Jack. All of it. I mean, right now my feet are kind of like babies. I have to swaddle them and they need ointment and like six times a day brown stuff comes out of them. You're beautiful babies. Yes, you are. Uh, look, Lemon, I need some advice. Tracy is actually trying to fight back. He ruined a wonderful evening at the Philharmonic, paying them to play the same song over and over again for hours. I can't remember. I can't remember what it was, but the point is the man is totally irrational. You know what? Tracy's right. You two are a lot alike. I beg your pardon. You're both stubborn. You're rich. You think you're right all the time. You want to prove that you're not like Tracy? Let it go. Or crush him and prove you both wrong. Get two birds with one stone, like when I used Mick Jagger to lure Roger McGuinn and David Crosby to my birthday party. Listen to yourself. You sound exactly like Tracy. 